ان شاء الله جزاك الله خير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا وحبيبنا ومصطفانا محمد رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهداه علمنا اللهم ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا علما اللهم أمين إن شاء الله we start tonight from where we stopped last time uh, we repeated only the last uh, part last time inshallah which is i'lan al jawaz i'lan al zawaj any announcement for them to announce it and if you remember we discussed it last time deeply a little bit with some details and i told you my opinion based on the experience based on the experience i don't know who uh, attended that meeting only i'd like to remind you of to mention one uh, case uh, sometime the wife and the husband they agreed that they want to do the marriage contract now and the wedding after three months two months whatever more or less and after that the nikah nama the, the marriage contract <coughs> they go together and sometimes something something happened between them as a wife and husband and the parent of the the girl they don't know and subhanallah that happened exactly I'm, as i'm telling you many uh, cases many uh, incident happen like that then Subhanallah, this agreement, they disagree, dispute, and they didn't, they don't continue the marriage, and the talaq happened, the divorce. For the parent, she's virgin. And in Islam, in the Quran, and the Ahkam al Faqir, if somebody divorce his wife before the intercourse, is different than after. There's differences between this case and that case. And the agreement is now, marriage contract. After two months or three months, there is a wedding. But they did it before. And the question here, the question here, if they, are, if they did it, why they, they, they still this uh, 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 the invita- why they gave the invitations to the people, maybe 200 people, 100 people, sometimes 500 people. I attended a wedding, more than 500 people. So for, for what? Why? Does it make sense? Anyway, this is my humble opinion. I, I, I believe that if the the man or al aris gave his word to the parent that today is the marriage contract two months the wedding he has to stick this is i mean promise he has to stick in this so alan al zawaj alan al zawaj it is recommended for people to know that Abdullah got married with Amatullah, for example. This man with this woman. They have people. It's not secret. Azawaj is opposed. Azawaj itself opposes the secret. It's not any part of the nature of our uh, Islamic marriage to be announced, to announce it. Yeah. <clears throat> عائشة رضي الله تعالى عنها روت عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال أعلنوا هذا النكاح واجعلوه في المساجد واضربوا عليه بالدفوف رواه أحمد الترمذي وحسن 
Aisha radiallahu anhu narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, announce this marriage, announce it. And this, that it doesn't mean one case, I mean, that marriage. And perform it in the masajid. And then if you remember, I mentioned that last time, that the Somali up today, mashallah, in this community, they follow, they are following the sunnah. I and mean, almost maybe 90% of the Somali, they perform their marriage in the masjid. And they made walima. You know, the Somali dish is delicious. If you don't believe me, come and attend the uh, Somali wedding, inshallah. Walima, they call it walima. Abdul Wahid, are you married or not yet? They do it here in the masjid. واضربوا عليه الدفوف الدف اللي هو ايش يعني الرم يعني for people to know what's going on why this had her they said so so and so ماري يعني الظلم مش هيك ها الظلم مش هيك هلا شيء من الظلم لا هو الجبنة بتاعت الظلم حديدة في عنوان في عنوان لكن يعني الزواج محتاج جبنة حديث العنوان الثاني اسمه الغناء موجود والامام الترمذي also narrated وحسنه also الحاكم وصححه آه عن يحيى بن سليم قال قلت لمحمد بن حاطب تزوجت امراتين ما كان في واحده منهما صوت يعني دف فقال محمد رضي الله عنه قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم فصل بين الحلال والحرام الصوت بالدف وقلنا في بعض الروايات دربة بالدف آه الترمذي عن الحاكم الراكب ان اثنتك تشين باي ذا اوثورتي اوف محمد بن حاطب هي مات يحيى بن سليم هي واز امون التابعين يحيى هي سايد اي ميرت تو ليديز تو امين Uh, of course, not at the same time. Uh, and I did not uh, ask the people to to announce and to make like a wedding and doors. And then uh, Muhammad bin Hatib he said, "Qal Rasulullah, the yani Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, the difference between halal and haram. See, this is one of the hadith." that I mentioned or I based my opinion on. Not only to come to the office in front of the Imam and you bring two witnesses, nobody knows who are they, and you're done. And I'm not, again, I said it from before and I will mention it again. I cannot say that such kind of marriage is wrong because the minimum witnesses are two. As the Rasulullah Sallam, illa bi waliyin wa shahidain. Two witnesses and a wali, wali the guardian of the girl. As long as the pillars of marriage contracts are there, is authentic. But I'm talking beyond this. So the difference between the halal and haram, the sound of the drum. That means announcing. Now the question is, can the technology plays a role in this? I believe yes. How? Long time ago, announcing was with the drum, with the wedding, with uh, people, any gathering of people, etc. Today, the announcing, if you send it to, uh, through WhatsApp or through email list or, or, or through the ICC or Islamic centers list or the newsletter of any Islamic centers. Invitation card. Invitation card. But invitation to the wedding. I said the announcement. If, is the announcement. The invitation says so that the so-and-so is getting married on so-and-so day. It is invitation. Or announcement. No, it's in the invitation that so and so is getting married. Uh-huh. 
Pastor so and so, daughter of so and so, and you are invited to attend. <clears throat> no, my point is not the 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 honors, the wedding. I said from before the wedding itself and the happiness and the, the drum and the song it is announcement announcing but the question is can we use different kind different style of announcing for example <laughs> through the email list through whatsapp through the islamic centers uh, email list <coughs> or or facebook the Facebook page, it's not just, you know, you get engaged or you get married. Yeah, Facebook. And I believe through Facebook, uh, I'm not an uh, expert in this, maybe hundreds or thousands of people can can uh, any know and see it and watch it, etc. Right? Also today, if somebody has a baby, also everybody remember. So, Allahu Alam could be that... Uh, the new technology, we can use it as a uh, mouse of Allah Ta'ala. My brother, the, the marriage is a nikah, and the two witnesses, the woman, two, two witnesses must be there in the wedding. This is the minimum. The minimum. Yeah, minimum should be. No, no, I'm not talking about the performance of nikah nama. Oh, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about after that. As Hadith of Aisha or Hadith of Muhammad ibn Hatir radiallahu anhu ajma'in and what the, these Hadith indicate, indicate after the performance of marriage contract they used to announce it. They used to do walima. They used to do uh, 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 singing and and uh, and invite people to know for everybody, at least people who are around, to know. I'm not talking about the performance and the the, the conditions of con marriage contract. No, no, I'm talking about after that. After that. And as if I said again, as if, as if. Is not enough to go to the office, bring two witnesses, and you ask a friend to be her wali because I don't know where her father is, or maybe he is not Muslim, etc., and to take her to, uh, immediately to your house or to the hotel or, or to the honeymoon, etc. I said, as if is not enough. Again, I'm not saying it's haram or it, I'm not saying that. But if you follow, the appearance of al ahadith the three hadith that we mentioned, right? as if it's not enough. Plus, if there is agreement between him and the father of the bride, you shouldn't break this agreement. Allahu Akbar. Now that title al ghina and the Zawaj. Before, uh, what is the title is? It is allowed to sing in the wedding or not. Before answering this question, we need to define what Rina means. Maybe tell me, Michael Jackson is saying, yes, it is Rina. Yeah, it's Rina. So, in Al Rina, we need to look at two dimension or two things two important things to the wording of the poem of, of of the song itself the word of the song shouldn't has anything kufr or shirk why because al islam came right after shirk after jahiliya right as sahaba radiallahu ta'ala especially the people of al-madina you know, people of Medina, they were in love with sin. They love to sin. <clears throat> the word of sin, we have to, to look at it, should, should, must be free of any kufr or shirk, must be free from describing haram things like 
the, the the beauty of the women يعني وصف مفات المرة أول واحدة ذكرناها أول واحدة قلناها ثاني واحدة يعني يخلو من الشرك والكفر ثاني شيء أن يخلو من الوصف الإباحي للمرة or bad word also or bad word also a hadith will come in under this uh, title uh, once a rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam entered uh, to the house and he found young girls singing uh, only singing he was listening Rasulullah but what the word it was shar shar you say shar in Urdu shar beautiful shar but one of the shar this young lady said وَفِينَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةِ وَسَلَامِ يَعْلَمُ مَا فِي الْغَدِ he told her يَا جَارِيَا اتركي هذا وعود إلى ما كنت حلال leave this she said Rasulullah sallam knows al-ghayb. Mm-hmm. Ah, exactly. And Nabi sallam, this is wrong in aqidah. In, 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 now it's related to shirk, to kufr. To the aqidah, to tawheed. He told her, oh young girl, or like young lady, leave this, don't say that. And go back to what you used to say. She used to say any poem, so this is the category number one the word itself category number two shouldn't use an instrument isma alat musikhiya instrument <laughs> what kind of instrument haram any string any string or blue is a khala min water or naf these two. If you out of these two kind of instrument, no problem. And in this, what's left? I believe it. it a duff or tabl, tabl or duff. Allahu alam. Electronic instruments. This is good question. I was asked about it. I, I don't know my, myself. They also have strings. No, they don't. <laughs> Nowadays, they they make music <coughs> without any instrument, any instrument. As, yeah, me, the appearance of it, no instrument, but the result is the same sound. I don't know. I mean, right now I don't I don't have a a, a photo for this. Or electronic system doing the same thing that they do in the same uh, almost the same uh, sound yes I, I agree but they don't use the uh, no, instrument yeah the sound. yeah but you said that it's haram right I said I don't know <laughs> this is not different because in in tabuha I mean two 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 things no answer, but the same sound. Allah Ta'ala. Ta'ala. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. No, 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 with this condition. So, so is listening to music haram or not or music singing music yes. with al ma'azif with the instrument that i mentioned this to i have strong belief is haram maybe you you, you hear other uh, shiuch said it's halal, let them kill this responsibility in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we say halal or haram, we have to prove why, right? You cannot say halal, فَجَعَلْتُمْ مِنْهُ حَرَامًا وَحَلَالًا اللَّهَ إِنَّ لَكُمْ أَمْ عَلَى اللَّهِ تَفْتَرُونَ If something halal 
and you make it haram, it is iftira ala Allah. And the opposite. Don't think that haram, make it halal, is iftira. Also, halal, make it haram, is iftira ala Allah. Both. In both, you cannot make haram as halal or halal as haram. Both. The proof is hadith al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, authentic hadith. As a sign of the day of judgment, that this ummah tastahinu al harra wal harir wal ma'azi. What istihlal means? And you consider it halal. And indeed is not. But they said, no, 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 it is halal. Lot of fatawa. Big amama, turban, huh? big names, big position. Fatawa right and left, make it halal, right? Same thing for al khamr And Nabi Sallallahu said they will consider halal, but they name it different name, not khamr They name it beer. Uh, al vodka. Oh, and uh, champagne, 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 champagne. They they name it different name, okay. And al harir also al harir the silk for men. So al harir is haram for men or not? Yes. And the Nabi Sallallahu combined this and al zina. Al zina is haram or not? The Nabi Sallallahu said they consider al zina as halal. The silk is halal, al-ghina is halal. That means these three are one. No, sorry, not al-ghina, al-ma'azif. Exactly, last of all, al-ma'azif. Al-ma'azif, that means the instrument. That means the, uh, the, the music. That's what we should, from the beginning we said, when we talk about ghina uh, singing, we should, know, should define it first. With music, without music, is without music, what kind of instrument, a doof, a drum, and, and then a tabul, and what you are saying is haram or halal, all these conditions you have to say to them. And that's what exactly was at the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the proof of this, all the ahadiths mention a doof. And when this young lady mentioned something haram, wrong, in the tarheed, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam immediately corrected her. He did not accept it. Yeah, exactly. So the one who, or if somebody said, no, no, the music is halal and the, all the instrument is halal, prove it. And another hadith, Allah, is dangerous hadith, very, very mukhif. Uh, also at the sign of the day of judgment, and Nabi Sallallahu told us that a uh, chipper, right? Ghanam, shepherd. Uh, he was shepherd. This what shepherd? Shepherd. Any, any yara. His uh, goat close to a mountain, uh, and beside this mountain is gonna be a big, any, a big amount of people uh, sitting together, dancing. Uh, listening to the music and they will ask him for some milk and he told them he will tell them wait until I get some milk then when he came back to them nobody there khasf what khasf any the land open and swallow them because of the music Yes, we tell me that in the music, especially today's music. So in this way, yeah, the, the digital media is still haram. Huh? So the digital instrument is haram. Yeah, sure I, I told you, and I said I didn't say yes or no. I didn't so say it is that haram. because the haram because it's just giving those sound that it's forbidden. What what I'm saying that. Uh, is not the harub in the world, but it need indeed uh, scholars or majma uh, fiqh to, to decide. It's better. Not anything in you, Samud Nawazin, 
regardless how knowledgeable are you, I prefer a group of scholars to decide. Uh, you know, assembly, Amjabar, al I uh, had an example, but in Majma al Fakhi, in general, it's just a Muslim. Assembly of. Jurisprudence Jurisprudence Assembly, a group of scholars to give a fatwa for something new is better. Especially like this question. If, if I am in this group, I voted for Haram, but not, I don't, I'm not ready to, I'm not ready to take the responsibility for myself. I'm not. Yeah. And Abu Yusuf, do you know Abu Yusuf? The, the big student of Abu Hanifa. He was mujtahid like Abu Hanifa. When Abu Hanifa died, he sat on his chair. Abu Yusuf, Qazi al you know Qazi al Yeah. Sometimes they ask him a question, he said, Qal Abu Hanifa, he said, why? You are mujtahid like Abu Hanifa. Said all the time, put a scholar between you and Allah. <laughs> Don't take this responsibility. <laughs> but this is a good topic, Sheikh, you know, the music. And another question I wanted to ask you is about the pictures. And, and this is a realistic uh, project, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, subject. Yeah. subject. Very realistic, very relevant. Mm -hmm. um, another question that I had was about the pictures. You know, we have cameras that take pictures so easily, you know, and the videos. Uh, drawing is haram, I think, in, 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 in Islam. A, 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 like a, a man or a human, yeah, yeah, that's true. But how about pictures? It's okay. It's okay. The, the difference in many scholars, even uh, even like Ibn Husaymin, rahimahullah, the big, very known scholar in Saudi Arabia, he said it's allowed because uh, the picture is, you call it in Urdu, aks, you know, aks, like a mirror. Reflect your your. Huh? لا هذا تاني التعليم. ما مثال على picture or or filming or record like a video yeah. or so. This is uh, like a mirror. Okay. It's not a drawing. Allah Used to in our country back home, in Pakistan especially, or when they don't allow any kind of. Video picture of Urma is not allowed. Now they allow that you can see the the writing in the TV. Mm -hmm. Not shaitan, not shaitan, stuff like that. No, no. Because the, the media is, uh, the, the, the time has changed. This is electronic uh, uh, dunya now. Mm. And uh, you can see the Quran, you can see the Kaaba, the people they are reciting Quran in the Kaaba, they are right. You see, but you cannot see that the other thing is Okay. Let us mention some hadith about al ghina uh, uh, singing. Amr uh, ibn Sa'd radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, دخلت على قربة ابن كعب وعلي مسعود الأنصار في عرس وإذا جوار يغنين فقلت أنتما صاحبا رسول الله ومن أهل بدر يفعل هذا عندكم عمرو بن سعد among the Ansar he said I entered a place in it there was قرظة بن كعب a sahabi رضي الله عنه one companion and Abu Mas'ud Ansari Abu Mas'ud is known لا 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 Abu Mas'ud Ansari another sahabi and both were companions and attended Badr battle Badr, you know Badr, Ahlul Badr. And in this place, there were two young girls singing. This Tabi, he said, Oh, la la, what's going on? You are two companions of Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And you are among the people who witnessed Badr and attended Badr battle. Do you know the, the position of Ahlul Badr? And you accepted that? Two young girls singing and you listen and you don't do Al Amru Bil Maruf for Nahi An Munkar. Fakala in Shita Fasma Ma'aman. Why is Shita Fasma? Listen. Sometimes he said, if you want, sit with us and listen, like us. And if you don't want, leave. Oh, 
قلت اه ما فيها فقد رخص لنا في اللهو عند العرس رواه النساء والحاكم وصحبه said al rasul allowed us to hear and maybe to hire and to ask uh, any girls or boys to sing especially in the urs in the wedding indeed some people muskuha bil ma'lum they want to to be more to have taqwa more than a sahaba come on you cannot You cannot be more any righteous <coughs> and pious more than a Sahaba. You cannot. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that. Not me. Allah radiya an Sahaba. And because Rasulullah sallallahu said that, the best generation or centuries or any, any khayru qarnin is mine. The same. That means the Sahaba رضي الله عنه. So we can, and also Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم said, "لا تسبوا أصحاب. Don't insult my Sahaba. If any one of you spend like mountain of Uhud, gold, silver, food, clothes, any kind of charity, the amount of Uhud, you cannot get the reward of." One saw, or the half of saw, that as a sahabi, any of sahabi, is paying. You know saw? Saw today about six pounds, maybe three pounds. Mountain of Uhud is not equal, does not equal three pounds that sahaba spend. So you cannot. And this deen came to us through them. If you insult most of them, like some people does, or are doing, right? They, like some people, you know. So from where you get the redeem, your deen? From where? Why? Revelation? Huh? Yeah, revelation from where? Okay, how, how? From where you get this Al-Quran? From where you get the religion? al ahkam <coughs> from where you get al islam itself rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam died and al islam was only in arab peninsula al islam wasn't in the sham wasn't in iraq wasn't in persia wasn't in in china after rasulullah sallallahu alaihi who carry on this message to all people الصحابة ذن التابعين how come you insult them you reject them how come your place are Muslim the same like Arab 1400 years and Islam was in Kabul in Pakistan in Iran today it wasn't Iran Persia in Kabul and Afghanistan yeah 1400 years not 400 years 1400 years At the time of Osman bin Affan, Kabul conquered. They opened Kabul at the time of Osman. Do you remember? Al Sahabi, Al Jaleel, Al Khulafa, Al Rashidin. Subhanallah. Another hadith. Uh, at the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Aisha ta'ala anha, uh, she went with uh, Al-Fari'a bint Asad, uh, the groom, we say more Al-Aros bride. They, you know, women, they took this young lady, the, 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 the bride to her husband, She went with them, Aisha and she was among Al Ansar from Al Medina. Aisha, uh, uh, in the, after she finished, she went back home, and Al Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked her, "Ya Aisha, ma kana ma'akum lahun?" 
Oh, Aisha, you did not, uh, when you, you took her to her husband's house, and her husband, his name uh, is Nabiut ibn Jabir al-Ansari, you did not uh, follow her song and, uh, and a drum and any high song, my song, with her whistle. Because, because as I told you from before, Al-Ansar, they love the, the, any signing, they love the doof, they love uh, any parties, they love parties. Uh, the last hadith that I really I mentioned to you, Rabbi, I already uh, mentioned that he told her, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, That is in Sahih al Bukhari. When this young, and then she mentioned that Rasulullah Sallallahu knows uh, the future or that the ghayb. He told her, Oh, young lady, leave this. Go back to what you used to, to say. Is wasaya uh, al that uh, some advices uh, uh, some parent uh, told and advise their uh, children about it. What's <coughs> it? Hmm? Uh, these advices yani, are beautiful. In general, and I advise the, the, the wife to listen and to obey and to beautify herself and to work uh, at the house. Uh, yani, this is in general, yani, in general in this. Uh, <clears throat> that's why I'd like to... Uh, uh, to go to Al-Walima, but before go to Al-Walima, I'd like to mention Hadith Anas, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, كان أصحاب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا زفوا مرأة على زوجها يأمرونها بخدمة الزوج ورعاية حقه uh, because it's Anas, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the Hadith, uh, يعني موقوف على Anas, radiallahu anhu, he said, الصحابة, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, أجمعين, when they used to bring uh, uh, the wife, a new wife, to her husband, they used to advise her to listen and to obey and to serve and to follow the, his rights. Of course, this is what her parent advised her. But of course, the husband, he knows, as we mentioned from before, that and he, he has rights, and she has rights. And that's known. But here, they mention that what the parent of the wife used to advise their uh, daughter uh, before she goes and live uh, with her husband. Uh, Al-Walima, we talk about Walima, or we keep are you hungry or we keep on waiting for next time? <laughs> huh? We'll continue? Okay, we'll mention Walima, then we'll stop, inshallah. Al Walima, the majority of the scholars, they said it is confirmed Sunnah, Sunnatun Mu'akkada. <clears throat> and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam once. Uh, he met Abdurrahman bin Awf, radiallahu anhu, Abdurrahman bin Awf, when he migrated from Mecca to al Madina. Uh, he married him in Medina. And uh, once a Rasul saw him, he said, What's going on? What's happening? He said, I got married, Rasulullah. For Rasul told him, Awlim, Walaw, Bishatin. Awlim, Walaw, Bishat. Yani, do Walima. Even if you slaughter only one goat, with one goat, but do a lima. Uh, Anas radiallahu ta'ala, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, 
he said, ما أولم رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم على شيء من نساء ما أولم على زينة. البخاري ومسلم also they narrated that Anas رضي الله عنه he said, النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم or the the most wife that رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم made a big walima when he when he married زينة رضي الله عنه. There is another hadith. Talking about Walima Zainab, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and as he said, and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he sent me to call people, to call people, any, whatever you see in your, in, 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 you meet, call him to come to my Walima after he married Zainab, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam fed them. Uh, meat and bread because bread today you know, is easy to find huh? go to by law, by the way there is no by law anymore right <laughs> uh, any Harvey's or uh, Harris Teeter or food like in the section of food of, of bread maybe you'll find 20 kind of bread maybe more believe me more than 20 kind of bread and there are two different sections Session they made it local, the session they brought from outside. Maybe 50,000, sorry, 50 kind of bread. But at that time, it's not easy to, to, do, to make, uh, to cook the bread. So when they said meat and bread, and by the way, they're very delicious to eat meat with bread, not with rice. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you tried it. Try it. But not what kind of bread? The pita bread, Arabic bread, mm -hmm. Lebanese bread. Today, we have fatta bread. Today, we have fatta with the fatta with the fatta with the fatta with the hummus and the lemon. Let's say, with the lemon, the lemon. Yeah. So the the bread with meat, very delicious. Try it. And then they use the thread. We had that in the thing. Ah, ah, ah. But not with rice. Not with rice, with bread. Rice and bread. Also, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, 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 Some of his wife, when he married them, his walima is only a 12 pound of barley, shayr, barley, sir. So with Zaina, meat and bread, and, huh? No, they said, it depends on the situation of Rasulullah. The Sikhah says, had it in the news, you can't find out. And when he made it, that's wife he wasn't he didn't have enough uh, money or enough food so he made whatever he found when he married Zainab mashallah he was and he had at that time and meat and, and bread and stuff so it depends في حالة تايل عسر والنسل and رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم as you know he was a human sometimes he had sometimes he did not have, he didn't he didn't have Sometimes he's healthy, sometimes he's sick. As you know, I mean, he was a human, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَنَا بَشَرٌ مِثْلُكُمْ You say Bashar in Urdu? Bashar. Means a human, right? And Al-Walima, as Al-Fuqaha said, sometimes you can make it before you, you, you take your wife to your house or after it. Either. And the people now, they follow the second one. They follow, they do it before. It's okay, no problem. <laughs> and Rasulullah most likely he used to do it after. But if you want to do it before, also not, nothing wrong with it. But do walima. It is very recommended. <laughs> and if somebody invited you for walima al-zawaj, walima al-marriage, the walima of the marriage, you should accept it. 
And the majority of scholars, it is you have to, it is wajib, unless you have excuses, sickness or something, emergency or already uh, you have uh, a troubling or or uh, you you give your uh, and if two people, the first one because he's poor, no no kapsa, no uh, biryani, you should accept the first invitation. The first acceptance. If somebody came to you and you accepted, then after that, another culture, I'm sorry. Both Walima are the same time. But two different days, and go, no problem. Go today and tomorrow, and after tomorrow. Too, no problem. Probably about half an hour here, half an hour there. How many salads do you have, brother? <laughs> <laughs> if, if, it, if they are in the same hotel or the clothes, yeah, you can do so. You can eat here the food and over there the, the uh, dessert, the halwa. <laughs> huh? Someone is fasting usually they prepare it ahead of time. Ahead of time. Ahead of time. And usually they do it on a Friday or Saturday, but they are fasting then. <laughs> Just on, on that topic, in our culture, we, we have a wedding um, dinner on the day of wedding, then we have a wanima on the following day, or you know, some, sometimes no, the following week, which, no. which is permissible to go, or, or can we... So, say it again? So, we have two days of wedding. The two days of? Wedding. Wedding? Wedding. Yeah. Wow. Wanima is the following day. The first day is actually the wedding. Uh huh. And you know, after you, they take the wife, then they have the walima the following day. The following day? Yeah. And they invite you on two days? Two days. Yeah. Except two days. Two days. <laughs> <laughs> no, and two days they serve food? Yeah. Okay. So why are you saying? <laughs> but I mean, I mean, do we have option to. Yeah, to pick one of them. No one. problem. Yeah. yeah. And your question is uh, I have to go in two days? No. Right. One of them. Um, النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كما في الصحيح البخاري لو دعيت إلى كراء لا أجبت ولو أهدي إلي ذراع لا قبلت. Do you know كراء الكرائم? Do you know كراء? I love كراء. I don't know. أنت كم مشهور المصري ده. Do you do you eat the feet of the the feet the food for the goat? Yeah yeah yeah. Delicious. كراء كراء كراء. What do you have? We call it pie. Bye. 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 In English or uh, English or uh, English P. Urdu. 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 English P and then pie. Pie. What? Pie. 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 Yeah. It's delicious. It's really good. But people, there is not something any expensive, right? Yeah. So that's what Rasulullah said. If somebody any cook. And his walima invite me and accept because this is his ability. This is, uh, huh? And then there is no meat, uh, but kawara uh, kira, I accept. It's delicious than the meat. It's delicious than the meat. I love it, but unfortunately, my wife doesn't do it at home. But I love it. 